The 26-mile course begins and ends at the Iwo Jima Monument. Oh my word. Now, why did you ever start running them? I think that having the goal of getting there is more important than the race itself. It's a reason to get out the door every morning and start running. One of the biggest marathons of the year is underway right now. The Marine Corps Marathon. Annual Marine Corps Marathon. Marine Corps Marathon. So proud of what the Marine Corps has done and the way they have managed this marathon. I've heard repeatedly individuals compliment the Corps on the courtesy and, and the method in which the runners are handling. And what is the mood surrounding this year's marathon? The mood uh, is, is, uh, is electrifying. The runners are here to run. I mean, they want to get back to normalcy. They want to do what they've been training to do for all year. Uh, the marathon is always a special event because you don't get to do, probably most runners don't do more than one marathon a year. The runners look strong and spirits were high, but in the end, it was all Daryl General, a hometown favorite from Mitchellville, who came in several minutes ahead of the pack with a time of two hours, 16 minutes and 35 seconds. Claudia Casson of Williamsburg, Virginia was the first woman to cross the line, a little more than 30 minutes behind General. But for Casson, it was a personal record for this course. Monument Marathon. The Iwo, it goes by, uh, of course, the Iwo Jima Memorial, the Pentagon, Kennedy Center, the Washington Monument. It goes by Union Station, the Smithsonian, the Capitol. It's really a spectacular Washington event. And the lion, supernatural husband and wife. All right. Well, the Marine Corps Marathon got off to a festive start. 45 minutes before the race began, Bob Ealing and Kirsten LeClaire tied the knot at the starting line. Congratulations to I would still be there. <laughs> it's so impressive. Maybe at the key bridge somewhere. Yeah. Now.